Hey guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I really want to prep some stuff for the week, make some protein balls, overnight oats, chia seed pudding, cook some chicken. Overall, just making stuff that's already ready so it's easier to just grab it. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's start out with making some overnight oats. I really want to make carrot cake overnight oats. I saw it on Pinterest. I forget the exact ingredients, but I got carrots yesterday specifically for it. And I think I have all the other ingredients like cinnamon, vanilla extract. I wonder if it has like dates in it or something. Okay, so I've looked at a few recipes and I think I'm just gonna combine them all and make my own because there's not a specific one that I wanna follow, but it's giving vanilla extract, nutmeg, cinnamon. Some people are adding maple syrup. I wanna add vanilla protein powder. I feel like that would be really good. Obviously shredded carrots, oats, almond milk. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna make it in this bowl. I'm gonna start out with some maple syrup. I don't really know how much to do. I think like that much, I don't know. Now I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. I'm gonna add some shredded carrot. I don't even know how much. I'm kind of just eyeballing everything. I'm gonna do some cinnamon. I love a lot of cinnamon, I'm not even gonna lie. <coughs> a little bit of nutmeg, I don't know how much to do. That seem right? I wanna do some chia seeds. Guys, ooh! That might have been a lot. I'm gonna put in some hemp hearts, maybe a little less, cause I did a little extra chia seeds. One of the recipes I saw put coconut in it, but right now this is like looking like a lot, so I'm just gonna hold off on this. I might add it, we'll see. I'm gonna do some vanilla protein. I am so excited for this. Carrot cake is literally my favorite dessert, but I feel like I'll like this even better. Maybe I'll start with that. I haven't even added the milk or the oats and like the bowl's already halfway full. I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt. I got this Celtic sea salt to start taking in the morning, but I haven't really been doing it but I heard you can cook with it so I'm gonna put a little bit in I should probably take some All right, I'm gonna add some almond milk and then stir it. I might have to add it to a bigger bowl because I literally haven't even added the oats yet and it's like full. All right, let's see how this is looking. I'm gonna try and get everything incorporated. Smells really good. This is what we're looking like right now. Looks a little different. It smells so good. Let me add some oats to this and see what happens. I always do more liquid than oats because I like my oats kind of runny. My overnight oats. If I'm making like instant oatmeal, I like it like thick. It's weird. <laughs> see how the ratio's going? I probably need a little more oats. Shake them in there. Oh, give it another stir. I kind of want to put more carrots in it. I don't know. Where do my carrots go? A little more sprinkle. Ooh. I'm ecstatic for this. All right, here's what we're looking like. I'm super pumped. I'm gonna let this sit overnight in the fridge and then I'll give you guys a little review tomorrow. Let's move on to chia seed pudding. For the chia seed pudding, I'm gonna make it in these two containers. I'm gonna start with some maple syrup. I like to use either maple syrup or honey for like a sweetener, just a little bit. And then a little splash of vanilla extract, some almond milk. I'm just gonna mix that up and get everything incorporated. There's like no ingredients in this, but it tastes so good. This is just like plain chia seed pudding, like vanilla taste, but just like overnight oats, you can like make whatever you want. I've made matcha chia seed pudding before and I just added some matcha powder. I did a little bit of honey. You can just customize it to how you like it, but honestly, I just like the plain one. I'm gonna add some more milk and then add my chia seeds. Stir it all together. It's like a one third, two third ratio, one third of chia seeds. The grip on the bag to two-thirds liquid. Chia seeds absorb so much more than you think. Okay, I just added way more chia seeds. And I'm gonna let this sit for like 15 minutes and then go back and stir it and see how my ratio was. Obviously, if it's too thick, I'll add milk. If it's too runny, I'll add some more chia seeds. But I'm just gonna put it to the side for now. All right, while my chia seed pudding is sitting, I'm gonna make some avocado mango salsa. It's so good. And it's literally three ingredients. You just dice up some avocado and some mango and then spread Sprinkle in some chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's and you're done. It is like the best salsa actually ever. A little corn chip. Tostito chip. Oh my gosh. Let me show you guys what it looks like when it all comes together. All right, I just chopped up all the avocado nice and small. I'm gonna add it to this bowl, but I wanna show you guys, so. That's just not a good idea at all. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's like so much easier. I don't know what I was trying to do. Just put it in the bowl and I'm gonna do the same to the mango. Yes. 
All right, let's add some mango. Okay, just finished cutting up the mango. This literally took me so long. There's like no right way to cut a mango. I should have like YouTubed a life hack or something, but I'm just gonna add that in with the avocado. And then I'm just gonna mix them together and add in some chili lime seasoning. Honestly, just like a pretty good sprinkle, maybe coat it all. and mix it up. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I wish you guys could just take a bite of it right now. So this is what it kind of looks like when it's all mixed together. I can't even describe the taste. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna do a taste test. You have to come in though. A little bit more. <laughs> okay, ready? You yes. gotta get a good scoop. Okay, it looks good. Smallest scoop ever. No, no, sir. All right, we ready? Yes. Cheers. Mmm. It's really it good. It is so good. It's really good. Mm. You it's should try it. <laughs> Three ingredients. Really? It's very Avocado, good. Avocado, mango, and chili lime. Ooh. I want some more later. <laughs> Your face! <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Wow. Okay, so I'm checking on my chia seed puddings. This one seems pretty good, but my first one, I think I went overboard with the chia seeds. So I'm gonna add a little bit more milk to this one. And then this one, I'm just gonna put in the fridge. This is about the consistency that I like. And this is the one that I think is a little bit too thick. I'm crying. I like when it is a little bit more liquidy. Oh my gosh. Could work at Dairy Queen. Like if I did that with this one, it would fall out. Honestly, this might even be a little thick too. Kind of went crazy with the chia seeds. While we're here, let's give it a little taste test. It's so good. It's so simple. Add some fresh fruit, granola, a little nut butter. This is just like the base. Chia seeds are like a superfood. They're so good for you. And this was so easy to make and so cheap. Definitely recommend. My favorite milk to make these with, I don't have any right now, but the vanilla coconut milk from Trader Joe's. It comes in like a purple box. I'll put a picture. It's so good. All right, chia seed pudding all done. And I'm just gonna put these in the fridge. We're gonna move on to protein balls. I always make them a little bit different. You can customize them to the flavors you like. I've usually been doing chocolate peanut butter but I think I'm gonna use some almond butter and I'm still gonna do the chocolate chips with vanilla protein powder and then chia seeds, oats, a little bit of honey, see what we get. I'll show you guys. So obviously I'm gonna start with the oats. You can also blend them, but I like them whole because it gives it a little bit of crunch. It's a tad bit of chia seeds. The honey and the nut butter is what makes it like stick together. So you kind of need a lot. Hey. So I'm just adding some honey to the mixture. I should just take this cap off. I want to add some coconut shreds to them. I haven't done this yet, but I saw a recipe for it on Pinterest and it looked so good. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit. I ended up just taking the cap off the honey. <laughs> and obviously it depends how much you're making. And I'm kind of going to make a lot because my whole family eats them. Oh, oh. Definitely need more oats. I'm gonna add some vanilla protein powder. And the good thing about making these is you can kind of like taste it as you're going and see what you need to add. After I add the almond butter and start forming it into balls, I'll taste it and see if I need to adjust it at all. But literally any protein ball you make, it's so easy. It's such a great quick snack. And it's also good for a little sweet treat craving. I'm of course gonna add some chocolate chips. This is where the real crunch is. It's so good. I used to not like these in my protein balls because I was like, it's sweet enough by itself, but the crunch really does something and they're good. <laughs> All right, I literally just added a heap of almond butter in here and I really want to use a spatula, but it all just sticks to the spatula. So I think I might have to go in with my hand. I wish I had a glove though. I hate going with my bare hand. Like this is all gonna stick to me, but the spatula is no help. All right, I think I'm gonna fold the dry stuff into the wet stuff. Yes, totally the correct terminology. I'll be back. Okay, I just mixed everything together, looking a tad bit dry, so I'm gonna add some more honey and almond butter. All right, the consistency is looking much better. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. I thoroughly mixed all the ingredients together. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Sorry for the lighting change. It's getting a little bit darker outside, but I'm gonna preheat the oven for this focaccia bread. Roasted tomato and Parmesan cheese. It is the best ever. If you've never tried this, you have to. Preheat oven to 400, bake for 10 to 12 minutes. Let's do it. All 
right guys, I just finished rolling the protein balls. I just keep them in the fridge. After I bake that bread, I'm gonna bake some chicken breast. So I'm gonna prepare it now. I actually took it out of the fridge when I started this video so that it would be like room temperature. But as I was putting those protein balls in the fridge, I saw my carrot cake oats. And I wanna give you guys a taste test. Obviously they're not fully done absorbing, but like I can get a good scoop. Oh my gosh, it smells delightful. Look at that little carrot. This is what it's looking like. Okay, cheers. Oh my god. Might have put a little too much nutmeg. <laughs> But that's really good. Wow, oh my gosh, with some fruit on top. All right, the oven is done preheating, so I just put some tin foil on a pan and then sprayed it, and then put the bread on. I'm gonna set a timer for like 12 minutes, and then take it out. It's literally so good. All right. Oh shoot, there's a bunch of pans in here. <laughs> oh gosh, is that fine? Oh my gosh, that's awful. Wow, they are nice and toasty. All right. <laughs> That's so crazy. I'm crying. Hey, back up. You're gonna get burnt. All right, you guys, welcome to this shot right here. We got a little chicken station. I'm gonna use some cooking spray, okay. So that the chicken doesn't stick to the pan. I need to cut this open, pat or dry, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> I don't know where the knife that I'm supposed to use for this is, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> First, I like to start with cutting off or peeling off any fat, like visible chunks of fat. Don't roast me. If you saw my other video where I cooked chicken, I'll link it. I literally don't know how to, but I just pretend I do. I'm just gonna cut both of the chicken breasts in half as best I can. It's kind of skimpy towards the end. All right, number two. Like, see that fat? Ugh, hate that. This looks a little suspicious, so I'm just gonna cut it off. Up in here, Ooh. oh my gosh. Sometimes this really gets me. Now I'm just gonna cut this one in half like I did the other. Perfect, now that we have four slices of chicken breast, I'm gonna rinse these off with some water. I'll be right back. Look at this thing, both of them. <laughs> What are you doing? I have some freshly rinsed chicken and now I'm just gonna pat it dry with some paper towel. Ooh. Mom, do you ever like punch it? <laughs> Shoot, my bread's done. Oh my gosh, thank God I remember. I actually didn't, but I started to smell it. I was supposed to take it out one minute ago. Look at how beautiful this is. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. Do you smell that? That's delicious. Right? Almost forgot about it low key. Okay. I'm gonna move this over here while we finish laying the chicken out. Beat it up. Time to season. Hey! <laughs> Hey, don't be camera shy now. You've been eyeing this the whole time. I'm gonna melt some butter to put on the chicken so that the seasoning sticks. Little prep. Probably like this much. That might be too much. We'll see. All right, we don't have like a little brush thing, so I'm just gonna put some on each side. Burn it out with my hands or whatever. Get down and dirty. Flip them over. And do the same thing on the other side. That might be too much. Love butter. Oh gosh, that might have been too much. All right, before I hit this with the seasoning, I'm gonna cut up some of this bread. Let me put it on a different plate, perhaps. Risk it, risk it. Ooh. Let me show you. Oh, this is just not the right knife. How delicious this looks. Well, how delicious it is, but you guys obviously can't taste it. Literally. Will that focus? Do you actually see that? Oh lord. Mom, are you gonna try some of this? A little slice down the middle. Oh, hot. Do you guys see this? It is just pure art. Like, oh my gosh. Let me give you all a little bite. Oh my god. It's so good, you're gonna die. Insane. I cut you a perfect bite. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're not Does ready. It, right there. Wanna try it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Mmm. It's good. Excellent. Delicious. Wow. A lot of good food today. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, you can't have none. Babe, I'm sorry, girl, but you can't have none. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I don't know why I turned the oven off because this needs to be baked at 400. <laughs> but let me show you guys some seasonings that I like to use. Garlic powder. Onion salt. Paprika. Red pepper flakes. Pepper. And some salt. I'm gonna be using my Celtic sea salt again. I feel so healthy using it. I'm gonna flip them and do the same on the other side. And I'm weirdly just gonna take any that didn't get on the chicken and just put it on. Scavenge. All right, the oven just preheated. <laughs> Hi, pups. Hi. Hi. Look at the little hips. Hi, beautiful. She's camera shy. Look at the butt. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put the chicken in. Hey, back up low key. Back up low key. The mitt. Perfect. And then I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. Sound good? Hi! <laughs> hey guys, I'm totally doing the outro on my phone. My chicken was the best chicken I've ever made. It was so good. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. I literally love you guys so much it means the world comment down below a carrot emoji if you've watched this far make sure to like this video share this video i hope you guys have an amazing easter if you celebrate hey and i'll see you on wednesday bye guys love you